SAC fans, and welcome to the latest installment of the SAC Daily Dose. I'm Jessica Biggers, and this episode is for Friday, October 5th, 2018. Leading off today's Daily Dose, inspiring stuff coming out of Catawba. New assistant swimming coach is now the first blind swimming coach in NCAA history. Theron Drake is a multi-medal winning swimmer who won 13 American records, as well as many Paralympic and Pan American Games medals while representing the USA. Drake has a positive perspective on his blindness and says, The blindness taught me to keep pushing even when everyone says you can't. At the end of the day, I'm the only person who can't say can. Who can say can't. Drake is able to listen and hear all the little things, such as hand entry on freestyle. A lower pitch is made when the thumb hits the water first, as opposed to the middle finger. He says that it is a cleaner sound when done correctly. I know that I look forward to seeing what the season brings for Catawba and their coaches. Best of luck, Coach Drake. Multiple academic awards were announced this week. In softball, the Easton NFCA academic team rankings and scholar-athlete honors were handed out. Six SAC schools and 48 student-athletes were recognized for their academic achievements. Of 75 Division II schools listed, Catawba was the highest SAC team, uh, ranked at 11th with a 3.625 GPA for the 2017-18 academic year. Queens led the way with, on an individual basis with 11 student-athletes being named as a scholar-athlete for earning a 3.5 or higher for the year. Congratulations to everyone that was honored. On the pitch, the United Soccer Coaches announced team academic award winners. Four SAC schools on each side were rewarded for their achievements of earning a 3.0 GPA or higher in the classroom. For the women, Lincoln Memorial, Queens, Carson Newman, and Lenore Ryan were honored for earning between a 3.5 and a 3.08 GPA. For the men, Lincoln Memorial and Queens were honored once again, with Catawba and Newberry joining them. They all collected a GPA between a 3.55 and a 3.18. Congratulations to all these schools and teams. At Lenore Ryan, $1.9 million of their $2.6 million fundraising campaign to build the Neil McGeechee Sports Performance Center has been raised. The athletic facility is a tribute to Neil's life work and its profound impact on Bears athletics. The athletic department aims to break ground before the end of the year. As a reminder, the fall sports sportsmanship week for the SAC begins on Monday. Before every co- conference contest, the teams will shake hands and read a game environment pledge. Posters will be the, uh, placed in the team's locker rooms. Use the hashtag RespectOurGame, and we at the SAC office look forward to seeing all of our members take part in the initiative. That brings us to everyone's favorite quote, the, the famous sports quote. And today my quote is from the great Shaquille O'Neal. Excellence is not a singular act, but a habit. You are what you repeatedly do. Well, that will about uh, wrap things up here for us today. Don't, don't forget, make sure you to check out the links to the stories we talked about in the description below. Also, don't forget that there are plenty of conference mashups uh, happening this weekend. You don't want to miss any of the action, so be sure to check out our website uh, at thesac.com for all the links. Make sure you like this video and share it with your friends and family, and make sure you subscribe to our page so you can be notified whenever we post new videos. Be sure to join us again for the next installment of The Daily Dose. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.